Hello everybody, how are you? How are things in your world? In this video, we're going to talk about five of the worst tire shops in San Diego, California. The first one is called No Treads. Now, No Treads sells tires without any tread. The one benefit is it's very cheap. You get four tires cheap. You can drift your car much easier in bald tires. Tokyo drift style, fast and furious style. So if you're interested in auditioning for the movie Fast and Furious San Diego, uh, you'll be ready to go. Your vehicle will be ready to go. And for men of a certain age, a bald tire matches their head almost completely. There are certain drawbacks. Without any tread, it encourages vandals to attempt to etch a tread into your tire. A vandal will be walking by your car and go, wait a minute, what's, uh, what's up with uh, no treads here? We're gonna etch one right in. They take out their Bowie knife, they try to draw a tread, try to scrape a tread right in there. So you're attracting criminals. Another consideration is, uh, by law, you can't have bald tires. But by law, you also have to obey the speed limit, and nobody does that. So it's up to you how you proceed, but for me, it's one of the worst tire shops in San Diego selling tires without any tread. Number two is an interesting place. It's called Bike Tires for Cars. They sell bicycle tires that go on cars. So the benefit is that the car is much lighter, it'll travel, travel much faster. And with the bike tires, you generally can go mountain biking in your car with the mountain bike, if you get the mountain bike version, mountain bike tire version. The problem is that they have to reinforce the bike tires to accommodate the weight of a car. Cars generally range from couple thousand to four thousand pounds depending minivans or more etc etc there are other benefits here it's much more streamlined you don't have as much drag on a bike tire as you do on a regular car tire the one disadvantage that I didn't like is that it looks weird so you have this big fat car on these skinny tires no matter how strong they are the visual aesthetics are not very good. It's kind of like, have you ever seen a fat cat walking around? And he's got this big fat body and these little skinny stubby feet. It looks like a little kid drew a fat cat and then, the, and then the feet are like sticks. Well, that's kind of the visual you get with, with these bike tires on cars. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that's a no for me. The third one is similar in that they sell truck tires for cars. So if you have a regular passenger car or a light duty truck, they sell monster truck tires that will fit on your vehicle. Now more, more accurately, they will modify your vehicle to accommodate much larger tires. And they do that by adjusting the frame, adding extensions. The benefit is if you have a little car, you're more susceptible to damage if there's an accident. Whereas in a big uh, truck tire, with the monster truck tires, the other cars will just bounce off your vehicle. And vice versa, you will just bounce off the other cars and any other uh, bridge abutments or things that get in the way during an accident. However, a Honda Fit, as an example, is really not made to drive truck tires that are over seven feet tall. So you have to put a much bigger engine in. You gotta put in a Ford F-150 engine in a Honda Fit. And that's really the problem. The engine doesn't really fit, so it sits on top. You gotta sit it out, sit it on top of the car to make it work. And when you do that, what I mean on top, I mean on top of the hood. And when you do that, it makes it difficult to see. So then they have to build a whole mirror system for you to see around your vehicle. You see how you're just adding complexity? For that reason, I'm going to give it a no. Now, the fourth of our worst tire shops in San Diego, guys. And this place, 
it's really interesting in that they don't sell tires at all. Uh, however, they do have a legal certificate from the city that they can call themselves a tire shop. Now, what they sell is, have you ever seen uh, people, usually kids, doing hula hoops? So what they do is they bundle up hula hoops into a tire shape, like let's say 15 hula hoops, and then they tie them together with uh, those uh, cable ties, all right? Or a zip tie is another name for it. And then they spray paint them however you want. And that's kind of the neat thing is you can leave them the same color as the original hula hoops, a lot of people like that, or they'll spray paint them in whatever color combination you want. Maybe you're a fan of the uh, chargers, and you want those charger colors on there, whatever. The difficulty with this uh, tire, quote unquote, is that you can't travel at very high speeds because the hula hoops are not consi consistently uniform and they also don't last very long. So you're gonna need five, six sets of these on any trip because they'll usually shred down after about 50 miles. And that's at which point you jack up the car and put on some new ones. Now, in terms of style uh, and making a statement and fashion and coolness, they're unparalleled. And for some people, that's more than worth the trouble. If they can drive down the road with tires made of hula hoops zip tied together, and it makes this colorful display that blows people's minds, well, then that's what they want. In fact, that's exactly what they want. They can't believe they can get this. And they'll pay a premium price and they'll go to any length to be able to drive their car that way. Now, if that's you, okay, you're, you're, you're done. You, you go for it. But that's a no for me. Now, number five on my list, my personal list, maybe not yours, on my list of the worst tire shops in San Diego is a place called bubble bump and bubble bump takes tires that have bubbles that have bumped out of the side usually in the sidewall and therefore not you not usually safe but then they they what they do is they make that into a snow cone so it's not a snow cone a snow globe so usually so all right let's back up so tires will sometimes get a bubble in the sidewall and that makes it unsafe to drive because it may burst, in which case the whole tire will, of course, deflate and burst and shred apart. Well, this company reinforces that bubble, which is often see-through because it's thinned out the rubber, and they make it into a snow globe. So you now you take a snow globe and shake it up. Well, now you don't have to even worry about doing that because the tire shakes up the snow globe as it goes down the road. And then at the stoplights, the people next to you can look over and see this beautiful display. So that's why they sell the tires that way. You can buy their tires with five, six, seven, eight snow globes on them, guys. And that's why they're charging over $300 per tire. Because it takes a long time to get all that set up, and right? However, I, I don't think we need any more gimmicks out there on the road. And for that reason, that's a no for me. Now look, maybe it's a go for you. If you disagree, let me know. Get on the Twitter, get on the YouTuber, or tell us of a tire shop that you think deserves to be called one of the worst in San Diego.